generation of thermal imaging cameras. The Träger UCF series has been designed and built for the most challenging applications and the toughest conditions. The Träger UCF is an important, highly reliable tool for even the most serious emergencies. The following scenes show you how to start and operate your Träger UCF correctly, as well as the benefits and advantages of the Träger UCF series. The Draeger UCF can be operated with just one hand. It features a sophisticated ergonomic design and weighs only 1.3 kilos. The Draeger UCF is equipped with a 3.5 inch display. The power button is located on the handle of the camera. Directly above it is the button for the laser. Above to the right is the brightness sensor with the microphone next to it. The laser pointer is at the front, together with the infrared window, USB port and freeze frame function button. The Draeger UCF 7000 has additional functions. Please select the menu item Draeger UCF 7000 for more information. The Draeger UCF comes with a crawling plate. The camera can be operated with or without the base. To use the crawling plate, insert the camera using the hand grip into the base and screw it into place using the tripod mounting thread. To work without the crawling plate, fasten it to the charger. Simply screw the crawling plate into the charger cradle from the top to easily recharge the camera. The Draeger UCF can be attached to the body in different ways. The neck strap is attached to the fastening eyelets on the left and right of the camera. This makes it possible to wear the camera directly on your chest for quick access. Worn this way, the camera won't get in the way during other work. The fastening point for the side strap is located at the bottom. It serves to carry the camera directly on the person. The retractable lanyard makes pulling out the camera a breeze. The wrist strap is attached to the same spot. It prevents the camera from getting lost. The power button is in the center. Press the power button for at least three seconds. The start screen appears as soon as the camera is switched on. The same button also switches the camera off. The display shows a countdown starting from number 3. Keep the button pressed until the camera has switched off. See what matters. One outstanding feature of the Träger UCF is its precise grey level adjustment, which clearly shows all objects, individuals and structural components. The display has a very high contrast even in bright sunlight. The reason for this is the integrated brightness sensor. It's for this reason that the status indicators are also easy to see, including in difficult circumstances. The small box in the centre shows the area of which the temperature is measured. The temperature measured is shown in degrees in the bottom right of the display. The Draeger UCF has a very wide measuring range from minus 40 to 1000 degrees Celsius. That's minus 40 to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. The computer software can switch the temperature display to Fahrenheit. This indicator is activated when the laser is enabled. This symbol on the top right is displayed in high temperature display mode. The color coding key is displayed on the right of the screen. It's divided into two levels. The first level shows temperatures from 110 to 130 degrees Celsius. Objects are colored yellow, orange or red depending on the temperature increase. If the majority of the points is hotter than 130 degrees Celsius, the camera switches to the high temperature display. 
The high temperature display is for temperatures between 300 and 1000 degrees and is colored accordingly. Once again, the higher the temperature, the redder the display. The battery lasts about 4 hours depending on how the camera is used. When just the last remaining red bar of the battery indicator can be seen, 25% of the operating time is left. When it starts flashing, there is only 5 minutes operating time left. This is your cue to place the camera into the charging station or to change the battery. Use the Allen key provided to loosen the screws at the bottom of the hand grip. Slide the Allen key through this opening in the hand grip to push the battery out. Remove the empty battery. Now insert the recharged battery into the hand grip of the thermal imaging camera. Retighten the screws. Träger deliberately chose this special closing mechanism to maximize explosion protection. The charger cradle comes with the camera. Connect the charging station to the mains adapter as follows. Insert the connector of the mains adapter into the socket on the bottom of the charging station. To release the power cable from the charging station, press the safety tab and then pull the connector out. If the camera base is attached to the camera, simply insert the camera into the charger cradle. It takes about 3 hours to fully recharge the battery. The LED indicates when the battery is fully charged. The individual battery can also be recharged by placing it into the battery cradle in the charger station. Once again, the charge level is indicated by an LED. Press the key directly beneath your display on the Draeger UCF6000 to activate the laser pointer. The laser always points to the area depicted in the center of the image. It provides a link between the thermal image and the actual scene. Hazards can be pinpointed faster and shared with your team members. The display also shows the laser pointer symbol. Press this key again to switch off the laser pointer. Please note that using the laser pointer of the Draeger UCF7000 differs slightly. See the chapter Draeger UCF7000 Differences in the user manual for more details. The Draeger UCF features a freeze frame function that enables firefighters to search areas which aren't directly visible. With this feature, it's possible to look around corners. Press the trigger button on the front of the camera to activate the still image function. The image, together with all image information, is now frozen. Release the button to turn this function off again and return to the real-time image. The Draeger UCF shows a very wide range of temperatures. Thanks to its special image processing, it can show both very hot and very cold objects in great detail, obviating the need to switch between different measuring ranges. During development of the Draeger UCF, Particular attention was paid to minimizing the shutter time of the infrared sensor. The result is a smooth stream of images without noticeable picture freezes during shuttering. The brightness sensor continuously measures the ambient light the camera is exposed to and brightens or darkens the display as needed. 
This means users always have a perfect view. The Draeger UCF has a standby function. If not held by the handle while switched on, the camera automatically changes to standby mode to conserve power. The camera switches back to active mode as soon as you pick it up by the handle again. If required, the standby mode can be disabled by using the computer software provided. The computer software that comes with the Draeger UCF can be used to adjust various settings. Use the USB cable provided to connect the PC to the USB port on the Draeger UCF and follow the on-screen instructions. In contrast to the UCF 6000, the UCF 7000 has a four-way toggle button. Switching between individual operating modes is easy and intuitive. The Draeger UCF 7000 is also Zone 1 explosion proof. Use the four-way toggle button to activate the laser pointer of the Traeger UCF 7000. Press the right side of the toggle button depicting the laser symbol. The laser pointer is activated when the display shows the laser symbol in the bottom left. Press this button again to deactivate the laser pointer. The Draeger UCF 7000 features a 2 time zoom function. Press the left side of the 4-way toggle button to show the object the camera is pointing at with 2 time zoom. The display depicts the zoom symbol on the lower left side. Press the left side again to switch zooming off. The different application modes of the Traeger UCF 7000 are quickly and easily selected using the four-way toggle button. In addition to the standard mode offering the best compromise between all applications, one of three additional settings can also be selected. Press the bottom area of the four-way toggle button. The display depicts the standard mode setting. Now use the left or right button field to select a different mode. Press the right button to depict the fire symbol in the display. Confirm the setting with the lower button field. The fire mode provides users with active support while fighting fires. In this mode, hotspots are shown in especially high detail and contrast. To exit this mode, press the lower side of the four-way toggle button again. The display depicts fire in plain text. Press the right button field again to switch to people mode. Press the lower button to acknowledge and apply this setting. The display now shows the people symbol. People mode focuses on cold and warm objects even in close proximity to a fire. It's used to locate people and is a very helpful guidance tool. The four-way toggle button is also used to activate the thermal scan mode. This function makes it easier to locate hotspots. As soon as thermal scan mode is enabled, press the upper lip of the four-way toggle button. Now use the left and right button fields to set temperature limits. Press the lower button field twice in a row once the desired scanning temperature is shown on the display. All objects at and above your temperature setting are now colored yellow. This plus symbol indicates that you are not in standard mode. Briefly press the on button to return to standard mode at once regardless of the mode currently selected. The Draeger UCF 7000 records video and audio for two hours after it has been switched on. These images can subsequently be exported to a computer for further analysis or processing using the computer software provided. Once the recording capacity of two hours has been used up, the camera starts overwriting previously recorded video and audio. 
Of course, the automatic recording function could be disabled by means of the computer software.